folks today we've got two robotic dogs that i'm going to do a comparison of we've got the joy for all ageless innovation and we've got cookie my playful pup by hasbro okay so first of all um i've given these two dogs some new collars these are not the dog collars they came with the personalised real dog collars. If you're admiring them, this is the name Gotan because I got them off Amazon and they were uh, size 11 to 16. Oh, let, let's, uh, let's have a look, quick look at Charlie's collar. Look at that. Wow. Charlie is fab. Nice. Yeah. And <laughs> Cookie Rocks. Nice, yeah. <laughs> so, why have I chosen these two dogs to compare? The reason is that uh, it's quite obvious when you've got these two dogs in front of you that Hasbro, when they first de designed Joy for All and bought out with Joy for All Dog, it was it's quite obvious that they use Cookie as the base because it's you can see it is the same model mm, it even diff different fire it even has these like you know legs that are mm -hmm. posable and yeah so it's the same dog you and think there's the same plastic components underneath it? it seems like it is because they also they've got the same sensors apart from charlie here has got one extra sensor right you can pick up this cookie dog mm -hmm. Now, very cheaply off eBay, mm. um, as little as I paid less than twenty pound for the Charlie. Wow! And uh, not Charlie Cookie. Cool. Uh, whereas if you get a Joy for All, even if you buy them second hand, they're quite quite expensive. They hold the volume. That's interesting. Yeah. Even though there's the same thing underneath. Yeah. Well. Plastic. So let's talk about what's different about these two dogs. So first of all, um, if we're just looking at the appearance, mm -hmm. um, I would say the fur on um, Cookie, mm -hmm. I know Cookie's older, but it doesn't feel as nice as the fur on Charlie. The plush is not the same quality then. It yeah. doesn't seem so, no. This okay. is super soft super thick and uh, quite long yeah also charlie having two colors obviously it costs more to produce that mm -hmm. to it takes more sewing together and such forth getting it all right um and also uh charlie they've added some airbrushing right so done a bit, bit of artwork on yeah you yeah and he even the the little bit of sewing here um, on his muzzle is really, really nice. And there's one last thing in the appearance. Charlie has got these gorgeous pink paws, pink paws whereas the original, the cookie, didn't. Oh, he's got no pants. <laughs> so they've spent a bit more money on um, On his Charlie. physical appearance. On his physical appearance, Ooh. yeah. Okay. Um, but the main difference between them is really in how they act, how they're programmed. Right. So, Charlie has got an extra sensor. Mm, you said the light sensor. He's got a light sensor. So that um, if you don't stroke Charlie, he goes into this sort of sleep state um, where he will be quiet most of the time until you walk past him. Mm. And then it'll give a little yap, and, and it up, is it? really yeah. endearing. Mm. We have Charlie in the hallway a lot of the time, and he barks when the postman puts stuff mm. through the letterbox. Yeah, we tend to when leave the him bin on, don't men we? come, mm. and it, it's really cute. And it's funny because we've got Toby here, who is a real dog, who doesn't bark, who doesn't bark <laughs> at the post, and doesn't bark at the it's bin man. Too lazy to do that, isn't it? <laughs> but Charlie does. So, um, that's the extra sensor in Charlie. Mm. All the rest are the same. So, they both got a touch sensor on the head. Mm -hmm. They both make similar noises. 
And they both moved their head and eyes. And, and both, both moved their head and eyes and mouth. But Charlie, uh, Cookie, is a lot noisier. Mm. Mm. Um, Cookie barks more. And it, Cookie also will whine, which is really quite irritating. But um, Charlie, we're having a conversation. <laughs> but Charlie doesn't make any sort of irritating noise. It's like he's got a more positive temperament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no whining with uh, Charlie. He's having a right conversation there, aren't he? You can see Charlie wagging his tail as well occasionally. It's, uh, does Cookie wag his yeah, tail? Yeah, Cookie does wag his tail. They yeah. both wag okay. their tail. Right. Let's see if we can turn him around. They've both got um, a touch sensor in the back. Oh, that, there, there's cookie, wine. Did you hear the wine? wine yeah. mm. uh, now, if you keep stroking Cookie long enough, you keep your hand on on his back. He will eventually go to sleep. Mm -hmm. But if you keep your hand on Charlie, you hear you a heartbeat. Hear, yeah. yeah, I can hear it. And that will stay on until you stroke him. Right. So Cookie's not got a heart. He's got no heart, he's heartless. <laughs> uh, so that's one difference. Another difference is that as well as Charlie being sort of not as noisy, not as yappy, mm -hmm. um, and not having this whining sound, he also has a mute button. Does he? Yes. So you can actually put Charlie on mute oh, so switch if you somewhere. want to. Switch he's somewhere. got a switch right. that'll put they can mute as well, which I wish Cookie had to learn the time. Right. So uh, to demonstrate the sensor in the map, well, it's not actually a sensor, it's just a, a button switch. Yeah. But I've got a few of Toby's toys to uh, to demonstrate this one. Cookie. Oh, well done, Cookie. Mm. So it makes not very convincing chomping sound. Right, okay. So with Cookie, it's quite easy to get him to chomp on something. But with Charlie, he, uh, Charlie's very particular about what he chooses to chomp on. And he only, he only likes this, this bear. So. <laughs> it slurps. He's looking a nice lolly. Uh, just one last thing that these dogs do that I want to demonstrate is they both turn towards your hand when you stroke the sides of the face. So there, Charlie's turned towards. So you can get Cookie. Cookie's quite turned that way anyway. So let's see if we can get Cookie to turn this way. So, yes. And then Charlie. Charlie's a lot quicker in how he reacts. It's more responsive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the last thing I'll mention is uh, what they both do also is they respond to sound. So they both are very, very chatty now. Is that because they're sort of triggering one another? They're triggering one another and our voices is triggering them. But I do find that if you stop talking, Charlie will go very quiet. Mm -hmm. Whereas Cookie does tend to still yap a lot, mm -hmm. even when you've stopped talking. So, uh, yeah, Charlie's made for the adult market and Cookie's made for children. And um, I think you see that quite a lot in the programming, the different mm -hmm. programming. Mm -hmm. So Cookie's, uh, Charlie's much more... For being in the background uh, and just being a presence. Mm. More sophisticated. Yeah, the programming is more sophisticated, definitely. Yeah.